What's up, y'all? If you're an intermediate or advanced player, you're probably starting to integrate more sixths and thirds and octaves into your practice. It's really nice to find material that's actual music to play this with. So in the jazz idiom, Blue Monk is perfect for this. Let's look at the melody really quick, first by itself, and then we'll harmonize it in sixths. I like to play this in F. It's a pretty friendly cello key for the blues. We're going to start here. Melody is on the third of the one chord, so starting on an A, going up in half steps. Fourth position. Next bit of the melody drops down to third. We're going to start on the third of the four chords, so that's a D. And then we have this lick, which is important. Now I want you to do that fingering, so we're playing this over a C chord, going down in half steps to a B flat, and then you're going to grab with your second finger a C down here on the G, A flat, A. And that fingering is important later on when we harmonize it. Second four bars starts on the third of the four chord again. However, we're going to go up in half steps and continue on a diminished chord. And then we play our lick. We have a little octave here, triplet. And that is two, three, four, and a one. We have our lick. One, two, and three, and So we get that leg twice in a row, displace the beat. Good. Now to warm up your left hand for a sixth, it's great to just kind of play through them in the key. So if you have your second finger on an F, we're going to put the one on a low A here. And there's a pattern that's really nice under the hand, and it tracks the harmony of the key as well. So if you think of this as the pattern following a major chord, we have our one chord here, even though it's a minor sixth, that interval. Think of this, okay, major, and then track the harmony of the key. So that's the one chord. Two chord would be minor, so we get three and one instead, right? So one chord, two chord, three chord, four chord. We're up to B flat there. I'm gonna go up to the top strings now, C and E, major chord, that's the five, six is minor, seven, minor shape, diminished, and then F again, so there's our one chord. Back down, B flat, so you want to warm your hand up for sixths that way. And that prepares us for all the half steps that we're going to be having to navigate here. So here's the melody. We are going to start on our A again, but we're going to harmonize it with that minor sixth below. So the, excuse me, the major sixth interval at that minor shape we were talking about. Up in half steps. Three, four. And then we go to our D. I'm using the same fingering, third on the D. So let's put those together. Three, four. Three, four. Three, here's our lick. So let's harmonize that lick. first time at the end of the first four bars. Let's put that in context. One, two, starting in the F chord. There's our B flat. Lick. Second four bars starts on B flat. Three, four. Keeps going to 
diminished and our lick. We have our triplet and our lick twice. So that's the head. Pretty straightforward. However, those sixths make it a little more complicated, and it's really great ear training to hear these half steps, all this chromatic movement, and to get the frame of your hand working with the basic sixth shape, major and minor. Here's the whole head. Two, three, four. <laughs> probably pl plenty of other opportunities to harmonize this different ways, but I find this sits really nicely on the cello. <laughs> Have some fun. I hope that's helpful.